Welcome to Amy Family Workshop. In this tutorial, I'll show you another cool way to sew a pencil case or a cosmetic pouch. Here's what it looks like on the inside. All the seams are hidden. I really love this version and now I'll tell you how to make it in a very simple way. Check out my other tutorials about this at the link above. For this pouch, we will need two rectangles of cloth 28 by 33 centimeters, a zipper 30 centimeters, better separable, and a piece of inside or outside cloth 8 centimeters wide. Spread the outer cloth in front of yourself face up and place the zipper on top of it, slider down, align and clip the edges. Now cover it with the inside cloth face side down and align the edges again. Make a seam along the zipper blade right here. For sewing, better use a zipper foot. That makes the job much easier. Once you get to the slider, pull up the foot, open the zipper and finish the piece. Here's what we've got for now. Unfold the piece and iron it like this. Now let's make a seam here to fix the cloth in place regarding the zipper. And we get this. Now lift the bottom edge of the outer cloth up like that. Align it with the zipper edge. And make another seam here. Once you're on the slider, pull up the foot, open the zipper and finish. Now flip the piece over and lift the bottom edge of the inner cloth to the top, aligning it with the zipper. This time we're not making a full seam, but leaving a gap to turn it out later. Mark it with needles to make sure you remember. Here's what we have. Remove the needles and turn the piece out. Here's our gap. Now we'll make a tack along the zipper. Here it really comes in handy that our zipper is separable. Iron the cloth along the zipper on both sides, same as we've done before. Now mark the edges of the gap with needles again. We're not closing it for now. Make a seam here and here. Now place the piece like this and open the zipper halfway. We're going to add some loops. Take the piece of inner or outer cloth and iron it as follows. First in half, unfold and both edges to the center. And now in half again. Try to align the edges as best as you can and iron well once again. Make seams on both sides.
and we get a cool and strong ribbon like that. Cut out the pieces of the size you want. Fold them in half. Place them in the center of the zipper on your pouch. And make a couple of tacks to keep them in place. And the same on the other side. Here our zipper is open, so you just have to tack all of that in the needed position. Done! Next step. Make sure the zipper is open and turn the piece inside out, like this. Now let's mark the centers on both sides. Fold them in half like this. And mark the bands with a pencil or marker. Do that on all four sides. Now fold the piece aligning the center you've just marked with the center of the zipper blade. the same with the outer cloth. Iron well. And make seams on both sides, one centimeter away from the edges. Now we need to draw squares in the four corners. For that, I'm using a little piece 3 by 3 centimeters. Place the square like this in line with the seam and draw a contour. Now grab your scissors and boldly cut all the corners off along the marked lines. And it's also time for the excessive parts of the zipper to go. And the final stroke. Now we need to sew all the four corners, folded as follows. Open the corner of the outer cloth like this. Fix it with a needle. And the same for the inner part. Align the edges as good as you can. And put the needle back in and make a seam one centimeter away from the edge, right here. Just in case, watch once again. Open it like that. Align the open corners of the inner and outer cloth And make a seam. Treat all the four corners the same way. It's time to turn our piece out. Find the gap that you've left specially for this moment and turn it out. And we're almost done. Now we're just left to close this gap. Make a seam here along the zipper. The seam should go through both layers of cloth. And that's it. Our pouch or pencil case is ready, with nice and neat seams both in and outside. This way you can make pouches of any shape. Find more of my tutorials about this in the link below. Make gifts for yourself, your friends and your loved ones, and let me know how it goes in the comments. 
See you soon in my next videos.